Without wishing to intrude too much into your, your medical history, can you give us some idea of the uh, health conditions that you've used homeopathy to treat? Yes, one of the early ones was sciatica. And also, when I was having telling the doctor about sciatica, he said anything else, and I said, I'm seven, I was 70 then, by the way. I'm 70 years of age, and I'm still having hot flushes. And so he said to me, I'll give you a prescription. I still have these, my first prescription, which I treasure. He was a doctor in Bristol. I had two doses. I never had another hot flush. And that really convinced me. And then uh, the sciatica. Well, Why do you believe it's important for homeopathy to remain available on the NHS? Well, first of all, there are literally thousands of people who can't, don't get better with anything else. They need homeopathy above all. And one of the other reasons, I think, is because it costs so little against the enormous cost of orthodox drugs out of which the pharmaceutical companies are making a fortune. As you're in your hundredth year now, do you believe that homeopathy has played a part in, in helping you live to such a wonderful age? Oh, I think it's played a major part. Well, first of all, uh, um, the doctors I've always seen here, they never talk only about the medicines they're giving me. I get these long talks about the things I ought to do in my life that I ought to be writing, I ought not to sit in an armchair and dream, I ought to get rid of negative thoughts, I ought not to think about dying, which is my latest thing. You can't get to my age and not think about dying. But no, the doctors say, don't think about dying, you're not going to die yet, so I keep telling myself, and this is the kind of thing that homeopathic physicians do. They don't just give you medicine, they talk about you and all your fears and worries. I find that's what's, that's what's got me to this age. If someone has never used homeopathy before, what would your advice to them be? Always go to a professional. Go and fight with your GP if you must. But fight with your GP to get to this hospital. If there ever was a threat to close this hospital, that threat to most people would be against homeopathy. And if I said that, they would come in their hundreds, I'm sure, to support me and to and many of them would and I would chain myself to the railings. And I would have make sure that a lot of other people did too. And I'm sure that even at ninety nine maybe I could find us I have got as I've got a, a walking frame with a seat. I bring that with.